to enable that org presents mathematical literacy assembly diagrams floor plans and packaging lesson twos memo please remember to do first do lesson two's exercises before you look at the memo otherwise you are going to not get the most out of this exercise right so the question what kind of room is this this is a bedroom why because it has a bed and a desk how many doors does the room have one there do you see that's the room how many windows one two the window lay um why are the desk in front of the window? The window lets in the light, which means that the person can sitting at the desk will be able to work and study without putting strain on their eyes. Plus, you save electricity because you don't have to put a light on. Um, is there an alternative position for the bed if the bed may not be in front of the window? Explain your answer. Mm. No. The current position is the only one the bed, where the bed is not in front of the window. The bed is too wide or too long to fit in against any of the other walls. Because we can't turn it, then it's in front of the door. If we move it to the front, it's in front of the window there. So that's the optimal position. Um, which item needs to be removed from the room if the single bed was exchanged for a double bed? This bedside table, the bedside cabinet. 7. Explain why the symbol for a door is a quarter circle. This shows the space needed for the door to open, which is very important. You can't place something there, for instance, because then the door can't open. It helps to ensure that no furniture is placed in such a way that the door will not open. Example 2. Ex understanding floor layout. Um, the room above has serious floor. Identify four problem areas. Question 1. The bed is directly in front of the door. So you see the door and the bed is placed in front. The basin is facing the wrong way. Do you see there's a tap and usually the tap should be next to the wall so that you can attach the pipe to it. The toilet is not attached to a wall so it has to be attached to the wall because the pipes go into the wall that's why. The toilet is almost impossible to use. Um, you have to you can't there's no place for your feet uh, so it's really difficult to use this toilet and the couch faces into the bathroom area so there's no door here and somebody will sit on the couch and watch somebody on the toilet okay so that's design issues redraw the floor plan to improve the layout including all the elements from the original plan okay so if you put the bed here it's not in front of the, you can enter the door if you put the toilet and the basin has to be next to the wall, attached to the wall, and it's great if the uh, couch is not facing the toilet. Um, alternatively, you can also put the the bed here and the couch there. So there's very many ways you can do this, but as long as you uh, get rid of the serious design issues. Okay, this is the answer to exercise one. Copy the door uh, that the the door open from diagram one and two. Why with the direction? In diagram one, the stove is almost behind the open door because remember the door is there. Um, so every time a person turns around the stove, they will be bumping into the door. Why is the stove that place under the window? If there are curtains or blinds over the window, this could be a fire hazard. If something is cooking on the stove. If something cooking and stuff caught the light, so if you have oil there and this oil splatter, and it, and then you will light up the curtain, so it's dangerous. Which light is better for cooking food? Diagram two: the fridge and the work surface are close to the stove, so it's better this one. Uh, which light is better for washing dishes and cleaning up after dinner? Uh, diagram one: the area for plates and bowls is close to the sink, so it's easy to put the dry dishes away, and then. You have to design your own kitchen and this will differ from, from student to student. Draw a rough floor plan of the room in the illustration. Okay, so this is the floor um, plan. Use the symbols given at the beginning of the chapter for toilet and bathtub and thing. The plan doesn't have to be to scale, right? Um, there are no windows shown in the diagram. The two walls are invisible on the illustration. Where would you place a window? Place a window above the bath. Um, the other two walls are inside the house. So these two are inside the house. And um, it says, well, um, 
the two walls that aren't visible so these two are inside the house so you can put the window there or you can also put the window there but ideally you do not really want to see somebody um, somebody to be able to see you when you're on the toilet so therefore it's better on the bath plus there's a lot of if a, a steam coming from a bath which is not good for the walls the, the tiles for instance and that would get rid of some of the the uh, wetness of the room right so the next thing you have to do is the uh, assessment so good luck with that